Okay, here is a question A. It tells you AB is parallel to CD. So therefore, these two lines here and that line there are the parallel lines. Now, when you're thinking parallel lines, you should be thinking of the following three rules in play. So maybe, you know, in the exam, you might want to even draw these out. So in your head, you've got the ideas here that you're just playing around with. So uh, the rules are as follows. Uh, you have Z angles or alternate. You need to probably use the word alternate are equal. You have got that F angles or corresponding angles corresponding are equal and you've also got that interior angles which I'll use a different color for each of these these two interior they add up to 180 degrees so there are the rules we're playing around with let's see what we can do with these now we're working out the value of t here this is what we're trying to work out okay so the first thing that we could do is we could clearly say you can see uh, this here, this angle and this angle must be the same because they're like uh, F angles as it were. So therefore you could say that 72 must equal W plus 40 degrees and state the rule you're using, you're saying corresponding. And this will help you find W because you can subtract 40 of both sides, W is therefore 32 degrees. Okay, so you're certainly getting a few marks there. So if W is 32, this uh, this angle here is clearly 72, and this is 72, we've already said that. And therefore this one here must be twice 32, which is 64 degrees. Okay, now T, um, we should also know that these are interior, that whole angle plus that angle must add up to 180. Therefore, um, 2W plus 74, let's just state what that is, 2W plus 72 even would be 64 uh, plus 72 it would be 64 plus 72 which is equal to 136 degrees okay so this whole angle here is 136 therefore we know 136 plus t must equal 180 and this is interior angles therefore t must be 180 subtract 136 which is 44 degrees. And we have ourselves all of our five marks there. Okay, now um, I'll leave in 44 degrees in here and I'll leave there for just a moment for you to copy. Another thing we could have done, I'm just going to take that away for now. If we know this is 72, then this must be 72 because they are vertically opposite. We knew what W was, so this must be 64. So therefore T, this being a triangle, must be 180, subtract 64, subtract 72, which again would get us what we're looking for, 44 degrees. So that's another way of working that out. But again, five marks there for something very, very straightforward if you keep your wits about you.